Uh, another brand new Nine at Nine song, this from listener, uh, or viewer rather, Michelle Fleischman. Take a look. It's nine at nine, so what's going on? Counting down to the number one. I am the kind of girl who wants to know what's up. So go nine at nine. Ooh, I love it. Mm, it's that a good one. Nice, yeah, catchy. Tomorrow wins our run of new ones, but. We'll always be looking for them. Fabulous. Thanks, yeah. Mike. Thanks, Mike. Number nine, a history professor at Harvard thinks he has identified the worst year in history. It's 536. That beat out 1918, the year the Spanish flu killed 100 million people. Uh, but back in the 6th century, the year 536 started with volcanoes erupting in Iceland. The fog of ash was so bad that there was daytime darkness across Europe, the Middle East, and parts of Asia for 18 months. Because the sun was blocked, it was cold. Crops were devastated across continents, so there was famine. That sounds a little worse. Not being able to watch uh, sports and bars for a few seasons. No, anyway, no. back to 536. All that turmoil damaged the strength of the Roman Empire. And when there were more volcano eruptions a few years later, Plague followed, the empire fell, and the earth plummeted into what most academics agree was the bleakest few decades of human history. Wow. Yeah, but did they have to wear a mask? Yeah. <laughs> right. That's you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Take that into account. It's uncomfortable. Jeez. All right. Number eight. We all know how much Paul loves his raw onions. Oh, yeah. Well, back in November, British food personality Nigella Lawson shocked some people when she demonstrated a recipe using banana peels as part of a curry. But since then, banana skins have become the must-eat ingredient. What? A popular recipe is to cook the peel up with some garlic and onions and barbecue wow. sauce, stick it on a burger, or Ooh. throw it in with pulled pork or chicken. Apparently, the flavor of the cooked skins isn't too pronounced. It's subtle with a little bitterness. Some say if you had to guess what the cut-up banana peels were without knowing, you would think it was eggplant. Well, now we know. All right, number seven news we can all use. How to fool a shark. Marine biologists figured out a clever way to fool sharks into thinking they're somewhere that they're not huh? by using magnets. Scientists oh have long suspected that sharks navigate their locations using the Earth's magnetic field. So a team rounded up 20 sharks they were kind of small, transported them into a holding tank. Researchers found they could get the sharks to swim toward a certain area when they simulated the real world magnetic field from where they were captured. All right. The sharks thought of that magnetic field as home. Okay. So the scientists think it could be helpful if they need to get a group of sharks to migrate for their own health or for that of the environment. But my question is, does it help you if you go swimming? Can oh, you yeah. throw yeah. a magnet across yeah. the yeah. Put it ocean in your, and then just put, you know your, hang out trunks. here and be like, go on right. over there? Yeah, that yeah. works. Why don't you try it? Test <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. That's Is that the it. same thing? Oh, yeah. 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 It'd be like when you're playing thing. with your dog and you fake a throw and they go one way. And <laughs> That's right. You go the other. Now, yeah. that would be helpful. Yeah, give it a shot. Uh, number six, our executive producer's daughters can't be wrong. One of the most adorable things on the planet is the red panda. So let's just take oh, a moment look. and appreciate oh, come them. Come on now. That's not a real face at a panda. You, know, you could convene right a meeting of our <gasps> nation's greatest plush toy makers and get them all to our most what? advanced teddy bear oh, factory and they would not be able to come up with something as cute as this. Oh, come on. They got like a raccoon tail, look too. How look at that. Adorable. Oh, oh, happy and cuddly, like they're wearing a little suit. Yeah, I bet they're friendly. Oh, yeah. dear. Oh, let's go oh, on there. Oh, man. They all duck that goose. Oh, yeah, that's, that's what you was happening. It. Right. Yeah. Oh, look at this. They're doing uh, mine. Marcel Marceau-ish kind of yeah. stuff. <laughs> Who's picking these pictures? They're great. Look how cuddly those are. I blame are. our yeah. executive producer. The old red panda. Because she likes the red pandas. Yeah, that her crazy daughters. Yeah. Isn't that nice? I'm with him. <laughs> Those were fun, weren't they? Yeah. Yes. Good for them. Yeah. And number five, sometimes mysteries have really useful solutions. Many people have been wondering why they're suddenly starting to find dryer sheets inside their mailboxes. What? Well, apparently it's a trick mail carriers use to protect themselves from getting stung by wasps. 
Huh. Wasps often make nests around mailboxes, huh. and while there's no science now? that shows that the dryer sheets repel wasps and hornets, right. uh, some people think it works. A mailman posted on Reddit that he was stung 10 times on 10 separate occasions last year after putting his hand in people's mailboxes. Yeah. So if you happen to see a dryer sheet way at the back of your mailbox, just leave it there. Or put the rest of your laundry in there and let it dry yeah, out. Right? Yeah. yeah. All right, number four, it's a decades old debate. Should men wear socks with loafers? Uh, sock lovers say if you're going to wear the socks, wear thin ones that don't compete with your shoe's texture. Okay. And avoid boring white or black socks. And go for something a little snazzier, like a violet or a, or a simple stripe. No. Well, Larry, I'm just saying what the very experts say. Opinionated on this. Uh, podiatrists say going sockless can lead to fungal infections. Oh, God. But in the eyes of anti sockers, a bare ankle emanates a cool, sporty confidence. Well, you just yep. get the no show socks. Uh, conveys an easygoing attitude, too. They also argue that by design, loafers are more casual than dress shoes. Throwing uh -huh. socks into the mix, well, it just undermines that. And you don't want to undermine a good loafer. So, you know, Larry, rule what number you one of loafers, Larry. You seem to have a lot of what you think well, it should be no we socks. Said, we said it the other day, you don't want to come off like a tryhard. Right. Oh, well used, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Used well in done. Context. How yeah. about me? Oh, very yeah. Good. Yeah, not very coming good. off as so at all. Which one, <laughs> looks like, which one looks like a tryhard? With I socks think, or without? Know, Flamboyant socks. Yeah. And you're like, come on. Just you put just socks like on. regular plain socks. Just put the socks on. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Don't overdo it. Yeah. Oh, maybe you just need a little more joy in your life, a little color. That, that wouldn't do it for me. No. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make you happier? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I don't Normal know. fungal. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's not yeah. use the word fungal anymore. Yeah. Oh, you can't use that one either. Word. Fungal? No, because it's related to the foot. It, it well, sounds. It has to be. It can be it, That can be a lot of things, but it's just not an uh, area I want to think, think we about. we got a fungus among us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fungal. We're moving on. Number three, check out these reusable chopsticks that turn into mini nunchucks. What? Oh, They're called chop chucks. It's not a real weapon, but oh, it no, works well enough fun. to show off your spinning and twirling and stick waving skills. They're all pretty uh, small, yeah. metal. Take them anywhere. Oh boy. Look at that. They come with instructions. I can see you using these, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Toughening up your street credibility yeah, on the yeah. streets of Lake Forest. Just sitting on his front porch, uh -huh, looking out over his moat. Working just, his nunchucks. Uh -huh. And then switching over to eat a piece of sushi. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's yeah. like the, the sharks and the jets come out yeah. <laughs> from yeah. the country club. Right. Bunch yeah. of guys in yeah. loafers with. That's the third <laughs> time you've biked past my house, yeah. kids. <laughs> With your a hole shorts and Stops. your flamboyant socks. I'm, I'm sending your a memo. straw hats yeah. Yeah. and your corn cob pipes. Yeah. Corn and cob you're going to get one of those martial yeah. arts stars right in there. Are you living in 1920? Who's got you corn cob pipes? Yeah. Listen, you have, oh, a lot of the guys in really? the forest. Yeah, oh, the country <laughs> club this week, and all of them are doing the corn cob pipes. Wow. Yeah. And straw hats like uh, the guy to the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. I got to move on. That's the ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. All right, uh, number two, just a moment ago, I shared with you the beauty of the red panda. Now another wondrous thing that the good Lord hath given unto us, it is a baby cow that looks like Gene Simmons. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. There you are. Look at that. Isn't that special? Huh. It is. Well, I hope that buys that cow a few more years. I yeah, hope so, hope too. So. There's another one that looks like Richard Simmons. He didn't make it cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. All right, number one, we've showed you this before, but it's still a little hard to describe. There's an art collective <laughs> in New Mexico called Meow Wolf, All right. and they have an installation in Vegas that's a surreal and weird interactive supermarket, and to promote it, they took a vintage commercial and added a deep fake Willie Nelson walking around the market. This is not the real Willie Nelson. Okay. Hey, what's Omega Mart? Huh? Omega Mart? What's Omega Mart? Yeah! yeah. What, what is, is Omega, Omega Mart? Mart? What's with all the questions? Howdy, I'm Willie Nelson. Omega Mart is just a totally normal supermarket in Las Vegas, and I'm a celebrity you can trust. Willie! Willie! Yep, that's me. Omega oh, Mart has all like the under-refrigerated wow. dairy you need, and all the <laughs> organically the recommended produce you want, all in one place. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention the world's friendliest free-range staff. 
Around here, the only thing that's suspicious. Uh, the so prices. they've had great success at this installation, Absolutely so they keep posting value. these commercials for Omega Mart. Uh, here's another. Have you tried Omega Mart brand orange drink? If you or a loved one answered yes, please call Omega Mart Consumer Affairs immediately at 1-800-808-4194. That's 1-800-808-4194. Your safety is important to us. <laughs> I didn't get that one. They got you calling them now. It's laundry day at Omega Quite Mart. Save on name brands like Omega Point, now just $6.99. Plausible deniability, only $5.87. <laughs> and done. No time for it, you're done. Just two for $10, or three for $7 when you spend $20 or more with a valid coupon. Limited to one coupon no. per customer. This is good through December 12th. See in store for details. That's Omega Savings. That's Omega Mart. That's a fun grocery store. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you look thirsty. Stock up on orange cola. Two liters, just 89 cents. I'm telling you, man, this is a morning show promo here somewhere. Only $4.99 a month. Plus, oh, main brand on. salts, only 67 cents. And save on individually wrapped wheat squares. <laughs> Just $1.79 for a pack of 10. But hurry, at these prices, supplies won't last. All right, that's the 9 at 9. <laughs> really? It is. Um, 9 at 9.